So for three and a half weeks in, the reality is it's incredible. The pace has just been fantastic. We're very encouraged by the contractor's 24-7 commitment, what they've been able to do in that amount of time. If you listen behind me, they're setting the very last of the beams to be set. That's a total of 61 that were needed. So there's five spans the beams have been set on. Two of those five spans have the steel reinforcement in place. Uh, they're actually, the bottom deck forms are in for all five of those other spans. Uh, right now the schedule is looking like we might pull the very first bridge deck tomorrow night. With those beams, when you have the beams arrive on the site, you have to set them and stabilize them. And then you have to begin shooting the elevations of those beams to determine how does that tie into each end of this gap that's been created. And they're looking for the tie-ins to be as near perfect as possible. It's construction, it's never absolutely Swiss watch perfect, but it's going to be something you won't notice when it's done. They've actually done a great job coordinating all those inspection points with our staff. We feel very comfortable about the quality of work that's been done to date. And again, the coordination to get all that to, to today's accomplishments has been great. So in roughly 25 years, I have never seen a bridge be designed and constructed this quickly. And the, and the quality of what's being done is second to none. So right now, the weather's been cooperating. As long as weather continues to cooperate, I have no doubt we'll be done by June 15th. So another thing that we looked at as an agency, you know, this is a pretty miserable experience for all the folks that are daily commuters and those commuting through the state. We looked at what can we, what can we take advantage of while we're here. So we're doing some maintenance work that we need to do as well as resurfacing on the interstate. Essentially from where 75 hits 85 to Claremont Road. The work is inside, large part inside this permanent closure we have for this, this bridge replacement. And then the project limits actually extend beyond that. The department really wants to thank the traveling public, the citizens of this community, all the folks that are having to endure this work, this effort. It really takes a lot of patience to put up with this, and we understand that. Our goal is to get it done quickly and safely and have a quality product at the end.